Hello, today I'm going to present our experience with deep learning for mobile and encrypted traffic classification. The massive usage of smartphones and other handheld devices has significantly changed the way in which we communicate and thus the nature of internet traffic. As shown in the image, by 2026 8.8 billion mobile subscriptions are forecast, most of which will be 4G or 5G. To shed light on the nature of mobile traffic, we want to answer the following question. What is flowing to my mobile network? To this aim comes to our help mobile traffic classification that allows to associate traffic objects with the mobile apps generating them. Indeed, mobile traffic classification provides valuable information for several stakeholders like advertisers, insurance companies, security agencies or infrastructure operators, which, based on this information, can provide informed profiling or perform advanced monitoring and management of network. On the other hand, mobile traffic classification raises privacy issues related, for example, to context-sensitive apps or to indiscriminate surveillance in certain scenarios like enterprises. Also, mobile traffic classification exacerbates the challenges of traditional traffic classification. These are specifically related to the high number of apps, to the heterogeneity and dynamicity in terms of devices, operating systems and versions of the same app, to the presence of background and third-party services in common among different apps, and, most importantly, by the fact that the majority of mobile traffic is encrypted. This latter aspect has paved the way to the adoption of machine learning based classifiers, which are able to deal with encrypted traffic but are limited to the usage of domain expert and crafted features. Thus, we propose to perform mobile encrypted traffic classification via deep learning classifiers that are trained directly from input data and are envisioned as a stepping stone toward the achievement of high performance in mobile traffic classification. However, since the naive adoption of deep learning techniques to mobile traffic classification may imply misleading design choices and lead to biased conclusions, we propose the design of deep learning-based mobile traffic classifiers resulting on a systematic framework expressly developed for their comparison. Specifically, our deep learning-based traffic classification workflow dissected the problem from different viewpoints. Firstly, we consider different aggregation of packets like unidirectional or bidirectional flows. Then, another fundamental point is the choice of the type and amount of input data fed to deep learning classifiers. Specifically, in this phase, we have to avoid biased inputs that can cause inflated performance. The choice of the specific deep learning architecture is also of paramount importance. Our framework is completely agnostic with respect to the specific deep learning architecture, indeed we leverage both autoencoders, convolutional or recurrent neural networks. Finally, our workflow provides a comprehensive set of both overall and per-class performance measures. To perform evaluation of traffic classifiers via our deep learning framework, we leverage three different human-generated mobile traffic datasets, two multi-class respectively Android and iOS, and one binary, Facebook or Facebook Messenger. We can notice that the best performing deep learning classifiers are fed with biased inputs containing fingerprinting metadata or transport level ports. After filtering out these biased classifiers, we compare deep learning methods with a random forest baseline. The results show that in Android and iOS setups, deep learning presents an F-measure improvement over baseline random forests of more than 5 and 6% respectively. Moreover, we consider an evaluation setup in which we censor the classification of samples with a class prediction probability lower than a certain threshold gamma. We can notice that for both multi-class datasets we can obtain a significant performance improvement at the cost of only a negligible ratio of unclassified samples. 
For instance, to achieve more than 84% F measure, only 10% of bidirectional flows are rejected. This work has allowed us to shed light on several aspects of mobile encrypted traffic classification via deep learning. Indeed, using the biased data can cause misleading performance results, usually inflated. Moreover, there is no killer deep learning architecture for mobile traffic classification and we need to devise advanced multimodal deep learning architectures with automatically tunable hyperparameters. Finally, the evaluation of deep learning classifiers should take into account a comprehensive performance evaluation framework that provides both overall and per class metrics. And if you want to know more, I recommend you to read our paper published on IT quality transactions on network and service management. Also, if you have any question, please drop us an email or visit our website.